afternoon, <coughs> good afternoon, everybody. So, we shall continue our discussion on uh, channel coding, We're discussing linear block codes. So, basically, here in linear block code, the redundancy is added as a as a uh, block of extra bits. So, and thereby a code rate R is defined for such a block code. So, R means R is defined. as the ratio of message bits divided by total number of bits. So it is also known as the coding efficiency. Now in linear block code, K bits. block code of say nk k bits are the message bits <clears throat> and n minus k bits are computed from the message bits. With the help of parity bits. The parity bits are basically the characteristics combination of words or the number of bits which uh, gives an unique feature to the code word such that a minimum distance between the code words can be maintained. Parity bits are designed in such a manner that certain minimum distance between the code words can be maintained. This minimum distance is of course important from the error resilience point of view because this will determine how many uh, bit error we can sustain. We shall discuss later uh, 
about this. So the code word, or we can write uh, the code bits. I at position XI. Equal to BI. These are the redundant bits generated from the message with the help of parity. That is uh, 0, 1 up to N minus K minus one and M I plus K minus N I equal to N minus K N minus K plus one like that up to n minus one. So these m is the message bit and bi is generated from the message bits. bi is represented as a polynomial as a parity polynomial in terms of message in terms of message bits. So BI is a linear combination of the parity bits. And the message bits. In other words, in block vector form, X can be written as B0, B1, up to B, N minus K minus 1, 
M0, M1. up to mk minus 1 because there are k number of message bits. Now p ij equal to 1. Ij equal to one. No. Yes. Mm, six thousand four hundred seven. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. Who is this? Yeah. Any problem? Anumant. Venkata. No, sir. By mistake, it is turned on. Sorry. Sir. Okay. So PIJ, the parity bits are <coughs> one. If BI depends on MJ equal to zero, otherwise. So this is the P is uh, defined in this fashion and M is of course this vector, this part of the vector. M is M0, M1. MK minus 1. B is B0, B1, B n minus k plus 1, and x equal to x0, x1, xn minus 1. Is it going to be n minus k minus this one? n minus k, n minus k, plus one or minus one. Uh, n minus k minus one. Yeah, it's still starting from zero. So therefore, B can be written as M into P. B is written as M into P, where P is the parity matrix given by K cross N minus k that is p0 0 p1 0 p n minus k minus 1 0 then p0 K minus one. N minus K minus one, K minus one. So this is basically K cross N minus K. Now Therefore, X we can write X equal to 
in block form BM. So, and B is equal to MP. So, therefore, this is M. P I K. I K is the identity matrix of size K. So that is the K is the number of message bits. So this one is usually defined in terms of a generator matrix. Generally P cross I K, the matrix not cross P I K block matrix P I K. Is defined as the generator matrix. of the code and x is equal to m into g so therefore one once p is determined then of course our generator matrix is determined. There are certain properties that need to be taken care of uh, to determine P. One of them is that we have to keep a minimum distance between the code words. And also that uh, each code word would be code word means the combination of B and M both together that should be unique. Uh, sir, what is G here? G is P matrix and IK identity matrix. Those put together. Oh, okay. Suppose P is 3 cross 3 and this is 4 cross 3. Then that is 7 cross 3. We shall take one example. The full set of code word is generated by this equation. By this generator equation. or rather code generator equation. Because uh, all these are all binary codes. Because the code words are represented in binary form. binary mod 2, modding load 2 sum, that is the XOR of any two 
code words. is also a valid code word. So this is again used sometimes to make the code word generator efficient in the programming. Sometimes this property is also used. Let XI and XJ, I mean, in other words, it can be written xi plus xj equal to mi g plus mjg so this is equal to mi plus mjg this summation is also the binary sum Now, uh, once we have this generator, then uh, the other side is that how to check that uh, this uh, code words are from the valid code word set corresponding to uh, a generator polynomial. We will be a, we will generate a set of code words. So to do that. Some parity checker matrix H is defined. For validation of a code, a parity checker matrix H is defined H is defined as H equal to I N minus K a block matrix P transpose. So now how this this is a verifier matrix where P transpose is, uh, this is of course H is N minus K cross N, just the G was N cross N minus K, this is N minus K cross N, where P transpose is an N minus K A matrix is the transpose and I minus K, I N minus K is the identity matrix of N minus K cross N minus K.
So if we multiply H into G transpose, we get H is uh, the block matrix I n minus K P transpose. G is, this is G transpose, so therefore this is P transpose. I K. So equal to P transpose plus P transpose equal to zero. So this is because this is modulo to sum. So therefore if we this is nothing but XOR, in other words, XOR. So therefore, AG transpose equal to zero. If we take the transpose or GH transpose is also equal to zero. Or XH transpose equal to MGH transpose that is also equal to zero. So this gives, therefore, the valid verification of code. This gives the code verification condition for code verification. So basically from we have to find a linear block code. Our problem is to first find the P matrix. Once we have the P matrix, then of course we can get the G matrix. We will get the H matrix. And then at the decoder end, we can always verify that whether we have a valid code or not. Now, usually, however, that uh, whether we have, uh, uh, because as we have seen that because we are in the binary domain, so any sum of two binary codes can be a, any uh, valid code. So therefore, how do we uh, determine that what is the correct code if there is an error? Now the problem is that this will give the verification, but in case of error, how is the correct code recovered? at the decoder end. At the decoder end, of course, we have 
the information of this G H that is the parity matrix all are available. So with these we have to do something that we have a method for uh, detecting the error and if possible also uh, detecting error can be easily done using H, but uh, localization of the error is required for correction. So while verification is done through H, localization of bit position localization of error in terms of bit position is required for correction. Depending on the code length and the extra bits that we are padding, there is a possibility of uh, the number of bits that we can correct. Most of the cases we can correct like one bit, two bit uh, or bit to something like that. If we require more number of bit corrections, the number of redundancy bit and the number of parity correspondingly, the number of parity bits will increase. However, we will uh, just now try to see that how we can correct for a single bit error or in general any error. So this is done. through what is known as syndrome decoding. So the name syndrome decoding is similar for uh, like the clinical syndrome used in clinical diagnosis. So each disease has certain syndrome. Syndromes are like the expressions, those are coming out. So, uh, so that from that syndrome, actual disease is uh, approximated. Similar to that, here is also a syndrome decoding scheme is available for linear block codes. So the syndrome decoding is like uh, it starts from the error itself. G is the generator matrix, H is the parity check matrix. Let output Y. equal to x plus e. e is the error. This is input. This is the error. Or error, it could be error vector. The ith element of e The concept is that the ith element of E 
to code the error, the ith element of E is set to 1. If error occurs at ith position. So for that, of course, first we have to localize the error. So that uh, will be done by some maximum likelihood uh, searching. But uh, for that, we have to have a table of errors to enable that search. And for that purpose, only this uh, syndrome uh, codes are generated, which is in tabular form, such that it can be, the error can be localized. So the purpose uh, is twofold because if you set the uh, ith element E to be one, then not only that it characterizes the location of the error, but also if we sum it with Y plus E, then as you know that uh, binary summation of two identical things will be zero. So therefore, once I identify that in the error from the error table, which e, uh, which location error is uh, has occurred, immediately that error vector will be picked up, and then it will be summed up with y. So then uh, y uh, dashed will be equal to x plus e plus e. So that will be equal to x. So there will be error recovery. Or in other words, EI is equal to 1 if error in IF bit 0, no error. So the syndrome S is defined. <coughs> defined as S equal to Y H transpose. So H is our Parity checker matrix Y is the output. Now this is equal to sorry, this is capital Y. This is equal to X plus E. H transpose equal to X H transpose plus E H transpose. Now X H transpose equal to zero. So this is equal to E into H transpose. So therefore, corresponding to the various uh, error model, we will have a syndrome generated. Uh, just we, if we have the output, we multiply it by the H transpose, and then that will be the syndrome S, and which is nothing but that is E into H transpose. Because the contribution of X to that y will be nullified by, by the multiplication of H transpose. So error patterns there is another observation that
what are the undetectable error patterns deferred by a code word have the same syndrome so of course we cannot localize know the what is the actual error that is because EI is suppose E plus XI. XI is the valid code word. So if we for detection for syndrome detection, we have to do EI H transpose. So this is equal to E H transpose plus X I H transpose. So that is again, this is equal to zero. So that is equal to E H transpose. So another thing that is The syndrome S is also can be interpreted <coughs> or is the sum of those columns of the matrix H. which corresponds to the error locations. Suppose H is written as a block column H1, H2 and HN, then S is equal to EH transpose equal to the row vector E1, E2, EN H1 So this is equal to I equal to 1 to N EI H I transpose. So there is another property of syndrome. That is of course. Uh, that uh, that tells about the detectability using the syndrome code. syndrome decoding for an NK linear block code can correct up to T 
errors. Our code word. Provided in and K satisfy the Hamming bound two to the power in minus K greater than equal to I equal to zero to T. in factorial so what is t of course uh, that is the minimum hamming distance in the n dimensional space that separates the two codes t is the radius of the in dimensional coding space code space and to separate the two code word the hemming distance has to be uh, greater than equal to 2t plus 1 so that can be also shown, but uh, that we will uh, show it later. So therefore, in case of syndrome decoding, the steps are very simple. So we have to first form the uh, syndrome. Steps for syndrome decoding or the right decoding. So this is also known as the error decoding table. So the first one is to form this error decoding table or syndrome decoding table for a receipt vector Y compute the syndrome S equal to Y H transpose step two is choose the error pattern is E zero. with the largest probability or maximum likelihood. So whatever method for searching can be used. then generate corrected output. Exact is the estimate of the input Y plus 
infinite. Again, this sum is, of course, modulo to sum. Now, we can take an example of this uh, syndrome coding for a block code. A example of a decoder. Quickly, we will take a look. Then next day, we will discuss more about uh, various linear block codes. So today, let us uh, take it uh, an example like. Uh, sir. Yes. Sir, can you scroll down, sir? It is. So first step is that syndrome code table generation. Second is we have to find that which is uh, nearest corresponding to the error pattern. So there is syndrome code versus error pattern. There is a table. So from that table, either we can do exhaustive search and find out which is the minimum uh, Hamming distance. So corresponding to that, we can find E0. Or if we have a very large table, then we can use some searching method, appropriate searching method. But then uh, if it is exhaustive search, of course, it will we will generate the uh, correct location or the correct error pattern we will be able to find. So therefore, there will be a syndrome and error pattern. So that example we will show now. So for that, of course, we have to find one linear block code. We have not discussed about parity generator yet, but uh, let us take one parity. Like take. Let us take a Hamming. Hamming code of NK74, that is N equal to 7, K equal to 4. So that means there are three parity bits. One representative generator matrix for this Or seven four Hamming for seven four is given by G equal to one one zero. <coughs> we shall discuss uh, next day the characteristics of. Uh, this matrix and this parity matrix, how it is generated. But for today, just an example, we are taking this one as the P matrix and K equal to four. So there are identity matrix. This is IK. So H equal to IN minus K. N minus K is three. Sorry. 
and this is p transpose It will be code words. Uh, so for the message so today, we don't have too much time. So the message is suppose zero zero zero. Then the code corresponding to this generator matrix would be like message multiplied. So zero multiplied zero. So that is would be zero zero zero. M into G, then zero 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 one. So that will give one zero one zero 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 one. Similarly, if we go up to one one one, so that will give one 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 one. one. So usually there are uh, the distance between this uh, co uh, code word is used to design this P and, uh, and G matrix. So if we compute the Hamming distance of this code word, we will find that between any of the, there are 16 code words here, 0 to 15, 16 code words will be there. Any two code word, the distance would be minimum distance would be three. Now there is another thing people also use to characterization is the weight. Weight is number of ones. So here it is zero. This is three like that. Uh, here it is seven. So we shall see what is why these are what is the significance of these things. Uh, this code word, of course, deeming for this correct uh, generator matrix. If we generate, it will generate a code word of 16 code words having the minimum Hamming distance is equal to three. So now the syndrome, S yes, syndrome. S equal to EH transpose, we have already H. So here we will have the error patterns. This is the table that need to be stored. Error patterns, so it will start from zero, seven zeros. Next we have the first bit position, there is error then a zero bit position then the like that it will proceed so this bit position of the error first there is no error and here there is an error so this is the error patterns, this is being stored. So basically this is for this syndrome table, is for, uh, this is for because only one bit position, we are, this is single bit error. Now, if I multiply this E into H transpose, first one, of course, will be a three bit zero, zero, zero. Second one is one, zero, zero. Third one is zero, zero, one. Like that, the last one is one, zero, one. So now, once we have a syndrome, so we have suppose uh, detect as y 
suppose y hat is detected we have has been sent as a certain code word now suppose it has been detected okay let us take something Okay, the first one, suppose. Here it has been. Occurred or. So one bit position, there is an error. Okay, so then S would be. Generated Y into H transpose. So this will be equal to zero. So therefore, uh, H transpose, okay, this need to be multiplied. This is not equal to zero. We have H transpose. H is here, so H transpose we have to multiply. So the first one, so all multiplications uh, has to be done. Correspondingly, we will get something. And then we will get some uh, patterns. So it will result into some three bit word, okay? And that uh, that we have to see that which error pattern it will generate, okay? I think next day we will do it. Say, for the second code word, suppose we have uh, uh, One zero one only single bit position we can have an error. So let it be then one here. Okay. So the valid code word was uh, this one, one zero one zero 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 one. So instead we have zero zero one zero one zero one. Now this if we multiply into H transpose, so each one will be multiplied and XOR. So that will produce the first one. Uh, we'll have the, wherever this is not uh, so zero, zero multiplied by zero, the third position is one. Third position is one. So third position is uh, zero here. So therefore, there will be a one. And that's all. This position is one. This one will also have a one, so that will be zero. So this will be one, zero, zero. So this gives uh, E equal to one, zero, zero, zero. Then Y plus E equal to one zero one zero 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 one. I think we shall continue our discussion next day. Time is up today. Thank you.